I owe you an incomparable debt of gratitude. I would need to, it was the work of Providence. I think I will forget. Not if I live to be a hundred. How you took me with open arm, and then assumed son of the Bronx, and chose me to be his friend. Nay more! His son. How touching, father and son. Well, folks, I see some questions written on your faces. Ask them. Don't worry, we won't teach you. You play square with us, and we'll play square with you. But get this straight. We haven't got much time for idle talk, especially the kind that carts and cavils and finds fault with everything. You will, however, find us open to any powerfully positive suggestion on ways and means of doing what must be done, so fire away. And no holds barred. I think you know me and my little flower shop. Hooray for Javola. So, do you want protection? Or would you rather murder, extortion, and highway robbery? Things have been pretty quiet lately. Nothing's wrong with my store. Nothing's wrong with my place. No, never mind. That's odd. We've heard recently, Mar, that things have been happening just like the news is telling us. The lasses have been smashed and skin poured down the drain in places that refuse to pop up for protection. But the green blue fizzlers is peaceful, so far, thank God. And what about Sheik's murder and Bob's death? Is that what you call peaceful? But is that connected to my bones, Your Honor? No. Just a minute. <coughs> <coughs> Friends, I've been asked to inform you that a poor, unhappy woman wishes to express her thanks to Mr. Dewey in your presence.
a very important matter, and okay. don't forget it. <laughs> Where did you get the gasoline can? Mr. Geary lives in the former sheet shipyard. 